everybody. Today we're talking about starting a business. Who am I? So, when you want to start a business, it can be very overwhelming and complicated. There are so many things you have to consider and think about to come up with an excellent idea. Who are you? This is a very, very fundamental step to starting a business. Very important step to starting a business. Some people go into business because a friend of theirs is into that same business. Don't go into a business because someone else is doing well in that business. You need to find out who you are. What are your strengths? What are your skills? What are your personalities? What are your weaknesses? This is the first thing you have to do to be able to come up with an idea, a business idea that will be best suited for you. Sorting this first point out will enable you start well and build a successful business. I can remember when we were in secondary school, we picked subjects because our friends did the same subject. This is business world. It's different from secondary school. It's different from school. Some people picked subjects even in the university because their friends or they heard that he was making money or they heard that it's good not because of them looking out their personalities what has god put inside of them that comes natural to them their strengths their skills sometimes people don't pick businesses based on this they just pick businesses because some other people are doing it and they think they can do it you pick businesses based on who you are if you're an extrovert, pick business based on that, based on your personality, your strength, your weakness. Think of who you are. It's a big question. Look deep and come up with ideas. There are some skills that will be inherent in you. The you is God given. And there's some things that you will be struggling with. They are your weaknesses. There are some skills that you would have picked up along the line as you grow older. There are some personality traits in you that is best suited to you. Pick a business based on that that is the first thing when you want to start a business this is the first thing you have to look at i can remember when i was 16 year old i started my my own business and i would bake for the family and my brother said to me he said why don't you bring cupcakes to my place of work why don't bring cupcakes bake cupcakes and bring it during that break time and see you know who will buy and grow your business from there and i took up the challenge and i baked cupcakes and i went to his, his office his office is a big office in victoria island where smaller offices are so in that building i could go from one office to the other showing my cake and before i left that building i always sold out that was my first business it came from even when i was 16 from me for me having the skills to bake cakes what are your skills that is what you should be doing don't do businesses because other people are doing the business think that is the first stage of you picking a business 
what comes natural to you. I'm going to be using a theory by Wilhelm Rich. It's called the Wilhelm Rich Five Personality Types to explain the question, who am I? When you ask yourself this question, then you are able to pick a business that will suit your skills, strengths, and weaknesses. Ask yourself this question, what can I do? What can I not do? Do I have the skills and personality traits to make my idea into a successful business? Think carefully about these questions and examine yourself. Pick your business based on what you find out. Pick your business based on your personality, your strength, your skills, because we are all not the same. We are different. Even me as a parent, I've got children, they are all different. They are all different from each other. I've got one who loves sports. I've got one who loves to mix things. She just loves to mix things, like experimenting. I've got one who is so organized, always cleaning here and there and putting things into place. They are all different. What is your personality? What is your character? What is your style? Are you an extrovert? Are you an introvert? Pick a business based on this. Are you calm? Are you easily offended? Pick a business based on your personality. Now, the first type of the personality trait is called the spirituality type. What do we mean by spirituality type? This personality type find relating to people frightening. However, the peak when they pick a business suited to their strength, they excel. Their skills is highlighted in intellectual, conceptual, and non-aggressive environment and communication. They like to just sit back behind a desk. That is where their strength is. So, what kind of business, examples of business that they can do? Computer programming bookkeeping, businesses where they have minimal client, customer, or customer contact. That is the kind of business that will be best suited for the spirituality type of personality. Be careful. Like I've said again and again, pick a business that is best suited to your personalities, skills and strengths. Looking at this diagram, we can see Herbert saying, everybody is a genius. But if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, that fish will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. Different people need to be judged differently. So, pick a business based on who you are. Do you love fashion? What do you love to do? Pick a business based on what you love to do. Something that comes natural to you. And then you will excel in that thing that you are picking. Or you have picked. The second personality type is called the love type. This personality tends to speak a lot and often in a sing songy voice. They love chatting on the phone or connecting with people. However, their strength could mean 
There is a weakness with keeping them on track with business at hand. Their strength is that they love chatting with people. They, are, they love connecting with people. A lot of organizations need that business to business. They love connecting with people. Organizations need people who will connect with other people and bring customers in and bring clients in. People, when you speak to them on the phone, you love just you just love calling that company. You just love it because the person who will speak with you on the phone is so pleasant. Will chat with you, will make you feel good. You want to call whenever you you have a business. You don't call the other company. You call this other company because of this person now the person they are put to take care of connecting with people however their weakness is that they cannot keep on track with the business at hand because they talk too much they are busy talking and showcasing their strength in another area they don't get back to business which is no problem if they work in a team. The love type personalities are good with people. So any business that involves customer service, helping people with personal issues, business that, in, that, that has to do with conflict management, they are best suited for this business. Business that that requires connecting with others on an emotional level is very good for the love type personality people. The next personality is the sensitivity type. They have a big loving heart, but don't push them too hard. They have a big loving heart. When you give them a lot of things, you keep coming to them, they don't complain. However, if you push them too hard or you keep asking or take advantage of them, resentment can build up. And once they reach their limits, they will lose their temper. They are very sensitive and accommodating and can be easily emulated. The kindness in their hearts makes them easy to connect with and work with on a daily basis. And they tend to be really nice people. I'm sure as I'm speaking, you will, some people will come to your head and you know that these people are the sensitivity. They have the sensitivity type of personality. These people are suited for businesses that connect with others. In fact, they are normally good at whatever they do because every business needs people who are able to connect with others. But don't take advantage of them because when you keep putting and giving them things, they will not say no, they can just lose their temper. Are you this type of personality? The sensitivity type, sensitivity type of personality? If you are this type of personality, then your kind of business, the kind of business that you should be thinking about to be with, will be in the ones that connect with people. The next one is the commitment type of personality. They love to be in control. They love to be respected. The commitment type people make great sales people. They make, they make great leaders, managers, as they normally put in 110% into anything they are committed to do. Anything that they want to do, they put an 110% into it. And they are happy to get people to conform to their opinion. They are leaders. 
They have a great gift for seeing the big picture. They want to rally people around. They want to manage troops. They, they normally keep their attention on a big picture. These people can be salespeople. Are you like that? Are you an extrovert? Just like an extrovert. You know, are you, are you a commitment type personality? Is that who you are? Then you should be thinking about the setting up businesses that has to do with sales. That has to do with managing. So the next one is a perfection time. They tend to make, always want to make things perfect. When you get into their office and you look at their desk, their offices, perfectly in order. They are excellent at businesses that entails organizing the office, attending to details, quality control, researching, creating office systems, and creating professional looking documents. If you are the perfection type of personality, this is a kind of business you should think of having. That's the kind of business you should be looking at having. It is very important to understand yourself and your team. Think about your suitability to your business ideas, your areas of business or specific types of business that you are suited for. Doing this will allow you to start coming up with ideas and narrowing down what businesses you could start. So, for example, do you enjoy speaking with people, with new clients? Then you should consider having or starting the client-facing business. Do you have short attention? Don't go into accountancy. Do you have a skill in computer programming? Then maybe starting a web development agency will be what will be best suited to you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribe and hit the notification button. Thank you.